What's up, guys? It's Ray and Michael from AchievementHunter.com, and Michael, this is... Hey, guys. Is, hey, hi, what are you doing? This is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon you had City. To, you had to go for well, it. Well, because you know how, like, in 2 and 3 and I think 1... It's like, at least, it's like, Resident Evil. Yeah, like, I've already shit my pants Jimmy. and I haven't even, like, started the game yet. <laughs> Yeah. Unfortunately, this game lacks the deep voice Resident Evil guy. Does it go Resident Evil? Go get yeah. him! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. They replace him with a high pitched yeah. uh, dude. So this is a new Resident Evil game, uh, much different than any of the Resident Evil games you've played before. This is uh, this is like a squad based third person shooter, kind of like Gears of War in a sense. There's even so, a cover system. Whole lot of shooting going on. Whole I lot saw. of shooting going on for this one. This one takes place right uh, in between two and three, or around the same time. Uh, you play as the Umbrella Secret Service, or the USS, sent in to destroy all the evidence linking Umbrella to the shit that went down in Raccoon City. So you're which like, which is oh. everything, by which the way. is literally everything. L that happened. Literally everything that happens in the game does nothing but link Umbrella to Raccoon City. There's it's like, like hey, like, uh, we fucked shit. up. Can you six individuals go <laughs> clean this up? And they're like, uh, all right, cool. Go kill everyone. Yeah. So there's a uh, six different characters to choose from. You can only pick four at a time to play in a squad. Uh, each one has like their own abilities and stuff like that. Like somebody, for example, can have uh, incendiary rounds and somebody can go camouflage and shit like that. So it's actually kind of cool. And you can level them up with Does he actually like say that. incendiary or does he fuck it up like Coach from Left 4 Dead? Uh, he says it correctly. Oh, okay. Coach is, you know. <laughs> Dude, he's a one-man cheeseburger apocalypse, too. <laughs> <laughs> but um, there's only seven missions in this game, which seems like it's kind of short, but each mission takes around... 30 to 40 minutes, and I'm playing on casual, so depending if you want to like walk around and explore and stuff, I assume if you play on like veteran or in professional, it's going to take you much longer since there's a lot of zombies in this game, man. Actually, a lot of soldiers too, and they fuck you up for some reason. It's not fair because they're shooting you, and it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I saw Jeff playing it uh, briefly, and it's like the first level you just go in, you have like a fucking assault rifle, and you're just like mowing down yeah, people. Yeah, the it's first like, level, shit. let me tell you, is really like boring because there's no zombies, <laughs> nice. it's all like. I think it's like SWAT team that you're going against to get. Uh, or no, Spec Ops teams. That's what it is, Spec Ops. And they're like, oh, hey, these people shouldn't be here. Let's shoot them. It's like, it just drags out. It plays like a regular third person shooter, and then it gets better, I promise. That one is just like Mulligan. Ray promises, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, send your hate mail to Ray at yeah. AchievementHunter.com. I will not respond that's to any of That's not a you. website, Ray at AchievementHunter.com. But if you go to AchievementHunter.com and find the user Ray, leave your exactly. comments there. Or you could send messages to Crazy Jesus, and I will respond to you immediately. You could do that too. Yeah. Jesus with a Z. Yeah, exactly. Jesus with, a Z. and there's a space in between. And uh, this game has multiplayer, and it's not bad like Resident Evil Five multiplayer that was tacked on and awful, and nobody wanted to play it, but there are achievements tied to it. It's a uh, eight-player multiplayer, and there's four different game modes. There's Team Attack, which of course is a team deathmatch. You have Biohazard, which is kind of like a uh, like a collection-based thing. There's G virus samples all across the map. You have to pick it up and bring it to your base while you have the other team shooting at you, etc. Then there's Heroes, where you play as heroes from like the heroes or villains from the previous Resident Evil games like Leon, Claire, Jill, and Ada Wong, just to name a few. Whoa. Yeah, naming some names there. And then uh, Survivor, which is a really fun game type. It's a uh, 4v4, kind of like Team Attack, and there's one helicopter that's, uh, that's on its way to the level. So you kind of have to hold off for a little bit, and then the helicopter lands. The problem is there's only four spots in the helicopter. So, oh, shit. Uh, obviously, it's four on four, so three people on your team, or excuse me, two people on your team make it and say one guy on the other team makes it. So you and your ally have to like fucking kill each other to race there. So it's really like intense and it's like, hey, we were friends, but then you shot me. You're an asshole. What a dick. That's my favorite game type. Dick so move, bro. So it's like fucking Double Dragon. Like you have to fight each other at the Yeah, end. and then you get to the end. It's like, oh, hey, there's it's this like, girl, oh, but there's wait, two of us. This there's, is there's, there's one girl, but there's two dicks. I, what I do we mean, do? There's, there's two holes, but that's unacceptable in Jesus the 80s. Jesus so Christ. We have to, what? Ray, I, come this, on. This is for the... Some people might not know that. Moving on to achievements, <laughs> Did by that, the way. It was unacceptable in the 80s? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, I wasn't alive. But um, also, I forgot to mention, in single player, you can go through the whole game in four player co-op, which is... Very, very good. That and is I good. Can, Wait, I can we, tell this game is made for caught because the AI fucking retarded. Can you? You said you can choose up to four different people. Can you switch characters that you have in a squad or no? Like you can choose up to four out of six, but are you still only one or can you bounce between the? Four oh, you're one? yeah. When you pick one, you're only that one. Like oh, you okay. can't. Yeah. So. Okay, so you're the same character the whole game. Well, in between levels, you can pick who you want to be. Oh, but okay. like in 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 the actual level, you're stuck with. That is there person. like level? Do you like level the character shit up? Like, is there a benefit to using? Yeah, the same yeah, character yeah. You can level them up. Again? You level them up with experience, where you get from single player, multiplayer, from obviously killing zombies and enemies, from finding intel. There's a whole bunch of ways to earn XP. So that's kind of like the little RPG elements added to it, which is actually uh, pretty fun. It's fun leveling up 
all your shit. It is fun leveling up. You feel like a badass. You do feel like a badass. Also, there's like 20, 20 -ish weapons in the game, like 23, I think, if you count pistols. So a lot. A lot Why wouldn't from. you count pistols? Because they're in a different category. Oh, okay. It's like 23 weapons if you count pistols. All right, so let's talk about some achievements in this game. This game, of course, has a, the, uh, you know, beat the story achievements. You have, like, complete mission one, two, three, four, and all that stuff. And then you get to the end. You have to complete all the USS missions, which is, you know, just a story, on professional. And if professional is anything like it was in Resident Evil 5, it's going to be pretty relentless because I think you got shot, like, twice and you were dead. Yep. Or if you got shot once, you were, like, in danger and you needed, like, a first aid spray. Yep. And then now, one... in this game, do you know, can you do New Game Plus, though? Because that's what made Resident Evil 5 easier. Um, you can level players. select. Okay, so you can level up your guy, like, as much as you can, and then go back and redo the first level. Yeah, so I'm assuming if you get, like, three friends and you have, like, a maxed out character with good weapons, it shouldn't be too bad. Right. But at the beginning, it's like, don't... The hard part is getting three friends. <clears throat> I, yeah, especially for me. Yeah. Like, I have two... I could split screen, but I can't, you know. <laughs> you can't I'm not even sure there's split screen in this game yet. Would you play with yourself? <laughs> oh, dude, I always play with myself. You don't even know. <laughs> especially when there's achievements involved. I just go to town. <laughs> <laughs> Next achievement is called the Great Success, which is to gain S plus on all the uh, missions on professional or veteran difficulty. This game has a ranking system. You are graded on kills, deaths, data co uh, collected, and time of mission. I don't know how the fuck you get an S plus. I got an S once. I can only assume uh, getting an S plus is getting an S on all those individual categories. I fucking hate ranks. It's so much pressure. Yes, I agree. All right. Next achievement is quite the collection, which is to purchase all available weapons. Like I said, there's around twenty. Um, next achievement is so many choices, which is to purchase all abilities for all character classes. Like I said, all the characters have two passive abilities and three um, uh, three abilities you have to equip. Last achievement we're going to talk about is Chaos Averted, which is to kill an infected teammate with a headshot before they become a zombie in any mode. So while you're fighting wow. the zombies, there's some zombies that like spit on you and stuff like that, and you can get infected whether you know that zombie hits you or you get <clears throat> you get you know bit or something like that. And then there's this little biohazard symbol around your teammate. And he has, like, a certain amount of time to find a, uh, it's not an herb, it's like a, an antidote for the sake of argument. Of course. And if he doesn't, uh, if he doesn't vaccine, use it, yeah. vaccine, I think, sounds better. If he doesn't use it, he will just turn into a zombie and attack you. So you can just, like, wait till your AI gets, uh, gets infected and just kind of hang out and wait till his life gets, you know, down to nothing and just shoot him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the end of this video for Resident Evil. This is Operation Raccoon City. And, uh, different... Different kind of Resident Evil game. I'm still enjoying it, though. I really suggest playing it with friends, though, because, like I said, the AI is fucking dumb. <laughs> but, uh, you know, still check it out.